You guys saw me tear my capper down and put it into a Ponce Custom 3D carbon stage dive chassis. Well, now it's time to drive. And I'm going to make this old silver body fit somehow. Let's get to the table. Let's dig into this thing right here. That chassis, that stage dive. It is absolutely awesome. Full carbon. We got a 900 smart servo by Reefs right here. Full capper drive line. Full capper drive line. All that stuff. It bolted in really nice. I gotta say, really nice bolt in on that. Now we have the shock bands by DZRC. It helped keeping the front end check. There's nothing on the back yet, but that may happen in a little while. Um, wheels and tires. Cheap wheels off of Amazon. Got the uh, J Concepts ruptures with, I believe these have the uh, squid inserts. So 2300 KV axe system, you got a 3S hanging off over here. So other than that and a little bit of brass that you guys can see, this is pretty much a capper on a carbon chassis. Let me go ahead and try to strap this body down on here because I don't have any body mounts yet, but I'm gonna strap it in there somehow and take this thing outside. Let's go. All right, let's see what the stage dive can do. Now this thing does have overdrive in it, in the portals. So it does have that. Now usually when you do something like this to a Capra, you end up with a much better driving vehicle. A little hung up in that slider right there now. Let's see what we got here. Can't really see anything with that body set up the way it is. But, oh, the body is on with uh, DSM bungees. I have wrapped them around everything. Oh, man. I tell you, it's a lot more stable than the capper. But for some reason, I want to try to get that capper cage on here just to be different. But kind of one of those things where, you know, when you're trying to be unique and different and you end up just not being very good at it, that happens. Let's see what I can do here. Let's see if this thing can do a sideways line. I mean, it is kind of wide. So, I'm going to see if I can ease into here. Somehow sideways this thing and get into position and get up this. Now, the width of this, you know, I actually did consider putting a 10-3 in the back of it. Uh, narrower axle in the back of it just because well I really like that setup in the other one that I have so it's kind of something I was thinking about for this but then again it was like why let's just go for it yeah that was, that was super easy right there now this I don't ever recall going straight up that on any of my vehicles. That was impressive. I can already tell you guys right now, you do this to your Capra, it's going to be awesome. I can already tell you that. Gatekeeper should not be an issue. Now this 2300 KV system, although I do like it, the startup is a little bit fast, so it's a little bit jumpy. The uh, Fusion, although it's still an axe style, oh, look at that. Still an axe style FOC system by Hobby Wing, it's completely different. Both in how it acts, how it holds, and how it performs. And the Fusion actually, in my opinion, has a lower startup rotation, which makes it the better choice in many ways. Now, this is a tough one. Maybe all that extra width for this right here will be actually a good thing. Because I don't even have the uh, wheels that narrow it up. You know, I don't even have, I don't even have, I don't have those on. I'd be surprised if I can get this. But that extra width might get this going. Look at that. Dude, I have not climbed this straight climb this in over a month with any of my vehicles that was impressive in, in case you're wondering how i'm getting in and out of my dig so fast 
I've got it set up right here as a momentary. I push it, boom, it hits, and then I'll release it. It comes right back into normal drive. The reason you guys see me run hopper right here, this obstacle right here, is because this is a good test of the belly. You know, whether the belly can get over stuff. And usually, these angled skids walk this pretty easily. Just like that. So some of them that I have, you get up on it, you try to hop it like that, you know, and it just hits the chassis, hits the belly so bad that it's virtually impossible. But with an angle skid, it goes right up. I'm gonna do a little grass killing over here, don't I? This thing is running really good. Let me go ahead and get up here and come down fall time. There's another climb over here that I really wanna hit with this. I really think it's going to do good at that. Right here. Look at this. Nice. I wonder if I can... Oh, look at that. I using the dig, I actually pulled it off the top. Nice. This one right here. This one's rough. All that width of that back axle, I still got, I lost a little bit of control down bottom though, or I say I lost it. This particular axe system. Oh, that was me. I went to reposition my hand to get my dig and all in there and bumped it off. Let's see if I can get, I don't really have all the, look at that. There you are using that dig feature. Oh, using the dig feature allowed that to just hook and go right up. My squirrels, they must be loving some pine cones. Look at all these things. Climb time, anybody? This should be super simple. Yeah. <laughs> Almost didn't even spin a tire. That was nice. Pretty sure Crack of Doom is gonna be child's play for this thing. You know, this body isn't too bad on here. Yeah, I don't think uh, Crack of Doom is going to crack anything here. Let's see here. Yeah. Not even. Crack of Doom was no sweat. Gap of Death was more of a challenge. Huh. Here we have Tipsy, and I don't think this is gonna be a bit of an issue. I just got really good tires, look at that. Oh! Okay. That was me. Tires are good. Center of gravity is just amazing on this thing. Let's see if I can get it right this time. Oh! <laughs> nice! You guys are watching me with my driver mod turned off. I still get lucky sometimes. Let's see if we can get this thing to lean. All that C-hub sticking out is probably going to be an issue right here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. A tire isn't even touching because of the C-hub. Uh, God, look at that. That's horrible. Oh, Turtled that one. Now, if there's one thing I want to keep with this is the speed. I want to have something that can actually get up, go, and maybe even jump or throw some dirt. I haven't done that in a crawler in a while. <laughs> nice. All right. Oh. Can I get it? Nope. How about turn stability? I mean, it's more stable than the Capra. And one last test, I want to be able to get up some dirt hills. I want something I can play on the hills with. 
That was nice. Really nice. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. I think with the uh, Fusion in here, with the Fusion in here, it's gonna have the same speed, but more control. Oh yeah, this is, this is gonna be fun. You know, with that Fusion, I might even put a bigger pinion gear on it. Oh, what am I keep going over there for? I wanna go up this. That's nice. Oh, oh man! Wow, that one. Okay, I lied. One more. <laughs> I like it. No kidding. This thing drives way better than the Capra. The side healing is better. All that is just so much better. A lot of it comes from the reduced chassis weight and obviously no cage and all that stuff. So I'm not exactly sure what body I'm going to use for it yet. Uh, you guys comment down below. Um, obviously, that's a creep body right there. Proline's got their body. What else is out there? I want to have the chassis covered. I know the belly draggers, they like to hang the chassis out, all that. That's not my thing. I don't, that's, I don't really care for it, in all honesty. I want to have the chassis covered. So what's out there, body-wise, that's lightweight and would actually cover chassis to chassis or end-to-end? Comment down below. I'm kind of curious what's out there. Um, awesome. Awesome. Climbs. The wide rear axle actually helps it when you get caddy corner like that. You know, it kind of helps it out a little bit. Uh, you look, gives it a little bit more stability. But anyway, it's awful wide for like legit gates and gates and stuff. But anyway, guys, check that description. I'll link up everything down below. You got to check out those links. They are affiliate links. Amy and eBay, Amazon, and Horizon helps out the channel when you guys use them. So guys, check that description, use those links, hit that subscribe and ring that bell. You guys are awesome. Thank you all for watching. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also for channel memberships, if you guys wanna be a part Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.